Hello and welcome to Facebook Live. My name is Darlene. I'm with Inland Caregiver Resource Center and I'm here on Facebook Live every Tuesday and Thursday with 15 minute tips for family care caregivers. And this week I have been talking about the services at Inland Caregiver Resource Center. I was just thinking about it the other day that I haven't talked about what our great services are. So I just wanted to give a brief overview of what kinds of things that we offer. Did you know that there are 11 caregiver resource centers in California? Our office is located in Colton and we cover Riverside, San Bernardino, Inyo, and Mono counties. So if you know someone who lives in a different part of California, there's probably a caregiver resource center that can help them. We each operate as an independent entity and get our funding from different sources. So our services may vary a little bit, but basically we offer services to family caregivers and seniors over 60 and our services are free. We, are, uh, we've, we receive our funding through grants from the state of California, from Riverside County, San Bernardino County and other sources. So I wanted to just review the three populations that we serve because I do think that there is some confusion about that. First of all, we call a caregiver who is not paid, such as a family member or a friend, an informal caregiver. So the first population we serve would be the family member or friend or the informal caregiver who cares or provides care for someone who may have an organic brain impairment that occurred after the age of 18. So that might be a traumatic brain injury, Huntington's disease, and even early onset Alzheimer's and other brain impairments. The second group that we serve are the informal caregivers, the family or friends, the unpaid caregivers who provide care for a dependent adult, 60 years old or older, who needs help with at least two activities of daily living. So activities of daily living could include things such as bathing, dressing, preparing meals, providing transportation, and things like that. The third group that we serve is the senior themselves. So an, an older adult who is 60 years old or older and needs help with two activities of daily living. So those are the three populations that we serve. The nice thing that I like about Inland Caregiver Resource Center is there are no income qualifications. You know, there are many programs for low income uh, seniors uh, and and some and also some for caregivers but mostly for seniors there are a lot of programs for low income and of course people who are wealthy can afford to pay privately for those services there's a big gap in between there and that's where we come in because we don't ask any financial questions as long as the person meets the criteria of the grant then we can provide the service for them. So I'm going to talk about what some of those services are. They include informal and referral, sir, uh, excuse me, informational and referral services, family consultations, respite care, short-term counseling, support groups, psychoeducational workshops, conferences and retreats, community-based occupational therapy programs, supplemental services, and senior supportive services. So now I'm going to talk about each one of those and it, it give you a little more of an explanation of those services. The information and referral service is the fact that we provide various aspects of information on brain impairment and caregiving. And we also make appropriate referrals to other agencies that provide care to caregivers and care receivers and older adults. So we have very close relationships with a lot of agencies in the Inland Empire that we can refer you to if we don't provide that service ourselves. The family consultation. We have 18 master degreed social workers um, who 
uh, we call our family consultants. And what they do is they conduct an assessment of your caregiving situation. And this usually was done in the home. Right now we're doing those <clears throat> assessments either by Zoom or telephone. And what the social worker is assessing is uh, depression and how overwhelmed or burdened you might be at this given time with your caregiving situation. And then they assist with problem solving. They develop a care plan. They provide emotional support and they connect the caregiver to other resources in the community. Respite care is probably the one uh, service that we get requests for the most. And that's very important because that is a break for the family caregiver. We're contracted with many licensed and bonded in-home care companies in the Inland Empire. And we pay those in-home care companies to come and provide care in your home for your loved one. And that in-home or respite care can provide also be include homemaker services, personal care, chore services, and things like that, as well as helping with your loved one. We also, under that respite program, uh, work very closely with adult daycare centers and assisted living programs in the Inland Empire. The adult daycare programs are closed right now due to COVID. However, I did hear that at least the one in La Melinda is opening back up in October. So I would think the rest of the adult daycare centers will start opening back up. I know some of the senior centers are already back open, so that's great news. The other service I talked about was short-term counseling, and that provides the family caregiver with 10 one-hour sessions with a counselor. It provides emotional support, coping skills, and Obviously, the need for counseling is assessed. And of course, your need must be related to your caregiving situation in order to receive the counseling. And we offer this program individually, but also in group sessions. One program that I've talked about on here before is our PEARLS program. As a matter of fact, every Monday, I'm here on Facebook Live at noon with Pearls of Wisdom. So our Pearls program, which stands for Programs to Encourage Active Rewarding Lives for Seniors, is through our office offered to people who are 60 years old or older and live in Riverside County because our grant is through um, behavior health systems in Riverside County. So that's why we can only provide to Riverside County. However, there is a PEARLS program in San Bernardino County. And <clears throat> if you call our office, we will be happy to let you know what agency provides that program. The Pearl Pro PEARLS program is an evidence-based program, which means we worked very closely with the university to gather many statistics to show that this program does work. It's not easy to become an evidence-based program. And all the caregivers that I've spoken to, it has really helped them. <clears throat> so that's our PEARLS program. We do offer 13 family caregiver support groups a month. Remember, all of our services are being offered virtually right now due to COVID. Um, so everything is on Zoom. Uh, hopefully later this year or sometime in the future, we will start to meet in person again. But even after we meet in person, we still will offer most of our services virtually. But the family caregiver support groups are for our clients, and they um, we have those all different days of the week, all different times of the day, even evening for our working caregivers. So um, lots of different family caregiver support groups. We have some support groups that are specific to disease. For instance, we have a Parkinson's support group for people who are caring for someone with Parkinson's disease. We have a... Um, traumatic brain injury, stroke, uh, dementia, family caregiver support group. 
And then there's one that we started in January, and that's for people who have already placed their loved ones. And I happen to facilitate that support group, and everyone is really enjoying that because, as you can imagine, people who have already placed their loved ones, even though they've placed their loved ones, they don't stop being a caregiver. They're still a caregiver. But their set of problems is entirely different from people who are caring at home. So those are our support groups. Next, I want to talk about our psychoeducational workshops. We offer 10 of these a month, and they're on all different topics. I teach some of them, but I have a lot of guest speakers that come in. And these workshops are open to the public. You don't have to be a client at Inland Caregiver Resource Center to attend these workshops, which is great. Um, some of the topics are, for instance, every second Tuesday of the month, we offer a workshop called Ask the Elder Law Attorney. And we have a local elder law attorney who joins us at, at one o'clock on the second Tuesday. And she just sits there and answers all kinds of legal questions. And we usually get a really good turnout for that one, usually between 30 and 35 people every time. And other topics include relaxation techniques, information about dementia, and, and any other topic you can imagine that would be of interest to a family caregiver. If you'd like to get a list of what those classes are, those workshops, just call our office uh, or contact me here on Facebook. We do post flyers on Facebook about the workshops with links that you can register with as well. We also offer educational classes. Now these are ongoing classes. They can be anywhere from four to eight weeks long. They usually meet one day a week for anywhere, like I said, for four to eight weeks. And some of the topics are controlling the frustrations of caregiving, to place or not to place, it takes two, planning for the unknown, which is a brand new one based on the book I wrote, um, uh, for um, anyone who is a caregiver, those are some great topics in all of those classes. You do have to be a client to register for those classes. Once a year, we also do a conference and retreat. We used to do these in person. Of course, this year we did it virtually. We had an amazing webinar. Everyone who registered for the webinar received a beautiful care package in the mail that was related to the theme of the webinar. And we actually had that webinar professionally recorded and it is available on our YouTube um, channel, which is Inland Caregivers Inland Caregiver Resource Center. That's our YouTube channel. And also on our YouTube channel, you can find lots of little 15 minute videos on various topics. Because every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we are on Facebook Live giving 15 minute tips to family caregivers like today. And these little 15 minute videos are uploaded to YouTube. So if you aren't able to catch us at noontime on those days, you can go to YouTube at any time of the day, look for the topic that interests you and listen to it at your convenience. We also have what is called a community-based occupational therapy program. We do this in conjunction with Loma Linda Hospital and it consists of eight to 10 sessions with an occupational therapist teaching the caregiver and the care receiver occupational therapy. And of course, we haven't been able to do that during COVID, but we're hoping that that will open up very soon as well. The supplemental services that we provide are minor home repairs, such as installing grab bars, and also uh, that consists of assisted devices. Our senior support services consist of personal care, homemaker services, chore services, the minor home repairs, adult day care, and our PEARLS program. So that is an overview of all the, of the services at Inland Caregiver Resource Center. I hope that was a nice review for you because even if you are a client at Inland Caregiver Resource Center, you might not remember all the different services that we have. So I hope you found this helpful. And until next week, I hope you have a fabulous 4th of July weekend and happy Independence Day, everybody. Bye.